was obvious. Good evening. Welcome to this special edition of Summertime. Tonight we have an extended program devoted to the ALP. Well, who's going leadership to win? Struggle. What's the feeling? Well, the feeling is that Paul Keating will win. It's always very dangerous to write off Bob Hawke, but his supporters are very pessimistic tonight, Steve. The Keating people claim 59 solid votes, and that's enough to give them a, a, a solid victory. The, the Hawke people are not really disputing that. Laurie, do you expect the meeting to be a long one? Do we have any idea how, how long it'll take? Well, we, we can make a guess. The, the Prime Minister was planning to make only a short statement to the caucus meeting before the vote. After that, the, they would call for nominations, prepare ballot papers. That would take about 10 minutes. And then the returning officer, Senator Jim... question of who will be leading uh, this party and who will be Prime Minister of Australia will be decided by my party in a ballot at 6.30 this afternoon. Time will tell. What chance do you give yourself? What odds? Time will tell. And like Bob Hawke, we're waiting for time to tell, with caucus still thrashing out the leadership. Good evening, Richard Moorcroft with this special national edition of ABC News. Tonight, the showdown Labor had to have. Anchoring our coverage from Canberra, political that's correspondent exactly right. Jim We Mills. have it from other sources, though, that the numbers are 56-51. That's 107. Three are absent. Gareth Evans and two other backbenchers. Thank you very much, Paul Bongiorno. I'm sure the official announcement will be made shortly and we'll cross back to you at Parliament House in Canberra. Good evening. If that's the case, Paul Keating will finally have made it into the lodge and Bob Hawke, after nine years, Nine very successful years as Labor Prime Minister, the most successful Labor Prime Minister ever, will be on his way out. But for now, now that's again, all. And we cross Parliament live House. to Paul Bongiorno at Parliament House, Canberra. Paul, there's some action, we understand. There is now Senator Jim McKinnon, the caucus returning officer, is coming down to make the, the official uh, announcement. Parliamentary Labor Party have just elected a new leader, and consequently, a new Prime Minister of Australia. Paul Keating uh, polled five votes ahead of Bob Hawke, 56 to 51. Thank you very much. What did Keating say to caucus, Senator? Kenan, the caucus returning officer has come out and officially announced the result that we brought you a few minutes ago. 56 votes to Keating, 51 votes to Hawke. We now have a new parliamentary leader of the Labor Party and therefore a new Prime Minister. Paul Bongiorno, John Cairn got anything to say? No. John Kieran, a disappointed man. He stuck with Hawke right through. He walked through. George Gear is a uh, Keating supporter. Always saddened by it. Always saddened by the process. I think, as Paul, everyone's Christmas wish was that this leadership crisis would be solved. Would you say that was the feeling in well, Labor well, ranks? Well, well, that's right. Uh, uh, the caucus members are coming away. There is a sadness uh, right across caucus, even for those who were, were signalling that they were going to vote for Mr Keating, that uh, they didn't want the Hawk era to end in this way. Their most, successful, uh, their most successful Prime Minister, they would have preferred for him to have seen when it was time to go. He thought otherwise. Now they've had to chop him down. Is there a smile there on those? faces, Paul, or not? Are they uh, Hawke well, or, yes, or Keating yeah, supporters? Uh, yes, both men uh, uh, indicated that they would be uh, Keating supporters. Graham Campbell on the left, right? And Andrew Theophanis uh, from the left of, uh, from Victoria. So we're sticking with this live as we see. Frank Walker uh, and uh, Peter Duncan, both from the left, both Keating supporters. You must be happy with the result? Certainly. What difference will this make, Mr West? Stuart West. I think we now have to get back to the restoration of a growth economy and a jobs growth economy, and it's Mr Keating's evening. But I think we should all remember the nine years of dedicated service that Mr Hawke has given to Australia. Stuart West from New South Wales left, a Keating supporter. We're staying with you, Paul. Yes, well, here we have a uh, left winger from Queensland, Keith Wright, a uh, Hawke supporter. Going to take this result. Well, I'm sure they'll support the Labor Party. But not the leader? Enigmatic remark there, Paul. Yeah. Uh, Mrs Darling, a Hawke supporter. I think Bob Hawke done great things for Australia over the years. So as, as we can and expect, now, those who were yes. supporting Hawke, and there were 51 way. of them, and uh, Mrs. Mrs. Darling, um, very disappointed. 
but, uh, but saying that the democratic process has worked. It's now up for the Labour Party, of course, to get behind the new leader, Paul Keating. And there we see him, Annie. Paul Keating is emerging from the caucus room, the new leader of the party and Australia's new Prime Minister. I think we should stick with him and see if he comes down to the camera. We are expecting a news conference from him, of course, later in the evening. Yes, Paul, we are staying with you. So, Mr Keating, surrounded by his closest uh, supporters, people have been with him since June. Ros Kelly, Environment Minister on the left, Rosemary Crawley from the centre left on the Crowley on the right. How do you feel? Well, that's a, uh, it's a great honour to be elected leader of the Labor Party. It's, uh, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very humbling, it's a very humbling experience, and uh, I feel the poignancy of the moment. What do you have to say to Mr. Hawke now, Mr. Keating, after eight years? Uh, Thank you, most sincerely. Poignancy of the moment, uh, that's what uh, Prime Minister Keating had to say, and he thanked Mr Hawke most sincerely. As I'm saying, we, we are expecting a, uh, a full news conference a little later in the evening. We'll just see if there's uh, Bob Hawke emerging. Mr Howe, Deputy Prime Minister, coming down the corridor. Will you stay on as Deputy, Mr Howe? OK. All right, well, there we uh, have to leave our live coverage. Uh, we'll keep uh, with developments uh, as they develop uh, through the night. And, of course, we'll have a full wrap-up in our late news at around 10.30. Thank you very much, Paul Bongiorno in Canberra, live from Parliament House. Australia has a new Prime Minister, Paul Keating, beating Bob Hawke in a ballot. 56 to 51 votes. We'll have a full summary of this in 10's second edition news tonight at 10.30. If there is a Keating press conference earlier and we have a chance to cross to it, I'm certain we will. Join us then for the news.